All right, well, Jack and I are here. We're going to have a tour of the Mohawk Huts and Humane Society. So come on in. Let's do it. So where are we now? So this is where everything first starts. This is kind of our welcome adoption desk, and this is where we start all of our matchmaking. Matchmaking. How many matches do you make in an average year? So in an average year, when there's not a pandemic going on, we will adopt out about 3,000 animals. Last year, we had about 1,800 animals. It's a lot of paperwork. It is, but it's you all know, right here. it's all right here. This is where people come in, they fill out that paperwork, and then we could start making some forever families. So we are in our cat adoption area and you'll see this is so cool. Everything is set up specifically for our cats to be living the life while they're here with us. They all live in these four story condos so that way there's a place to eat, sleep, play and do their business. But there's plenty of enrichment that all of our animals get. Either if it's toys or scent work, there's all sorts of fun stuff. I'm reading here 200 cats. Yes, we can house up to 200 cats and small animals in this beautiful building. It's incredible. And there's all different kinds of cats. As you can see, we've got our spirit room here. Oh, they do yoga? <laughs> Is goat yoga? Is there cat is, yoga the next we thing? We do have cat yoga classes. We Love can't that. wait till we could get those going again. Um, you know, again, something else COVID has taken away. But um, no, our spirit cats are kind of a cat for your cat. A and cat for your cat. A cat for your cat. Catception. Yeah. <laughs> so what actually happens in there? So they're not going to be your typical lap cat. They're not the most friendly cat of coming out and purring and saying hi to everybody. But they're the ones that maybe will bring your other cats out of its shell. So I'm I've been here a few times and I'm very familiar with what's past these doors. Yes. The dogs. Is that where we're dog going? Dog area. Yes. But before we get to the dogs, a lot of people know us for cats and dogs. True. But they don't know we also have small animals available as well. Oh. So in here, it. this is where you'll find your guinea pigs, you'll find your rabbits. We have had some interesting creatures in here as well. What's the most peculiar one that's ever come through these doors? Well, since I have been here, we've had a couple pythons, and I think the tarantula from one of the cruelty cases we had is probably the most interesting animal we've had in our small animals room. That's interesting. It is. All right, so I'm not biased, but I am kind of a dog guy. Yeah. That's where we're going. Tell yes. me some, some dog facts. Yes, yeah, so over here we have our adoption area. These are all the dogs that are available for adoption. There's about 36 kennels in there. It is pretty loud, but what's really cool is that we have amazing volunteers and staff that take them out multiple times a day for walks. They get comms for enrichment. They get all sorts of fun stuff in there so we could try to reduce the stress as much as possible. So they're living a good life. They are, you know, and oftentimes people are always worried and they're like, oh, I'm going to feel so sad going in. It's a really happy place in here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we treat our animals like they're our own while they're in our care. And they're in our care for however long it takes for them to be adopted. So there's no time limits for people. Mm -hmm. 